Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today is going to be a Q&A video. So I've searched through all my previous videos since the last Q&A and I've picked out some questions to answer for you today. Gary Arnold asks, what jobs do you do while living aboard? Um, well, I have three jobs. I do corporate acting, uh, freelance. I also work as a gym receptionist and I work in a cafe. Um, I also do writing and acting and things like that. But you have all sorts of different people living and working on the canals. I've met doctors, I've met painters, I've met lawyers, all sorts. So really, whatever your job is, you can probably do it if you live on a boat. So long as you don't work from home using the internet and power all day long. <laughs> and even then, if you had a mooring, you probably could. Scott Clegg asks, can you get takeaways delivered? Uh, mostly you can. You do have to phone them up and explain the situation and usually send them a Google Maps pin. Now I have three questions from the video about the onion barge. DJ Mboy Zach asks, do people grow vegetables on the roofs? Yes, they do. Um, I have some videos about um, planting and, and growing stuff on the roof of our boat. Um, I had some success last year. Strawberries were very successful. Had a few courgettes, uh, had some tomatoes. Hoping to be more successful with those this year. Lots of people are much more successful than me. Um, so you're kind of joining me on the adventure of figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, so yes people do grow vegetables on their roof. Emma from Narrowboat Zero Gravity, which is a great YouTube channel by the way if you're interested in how fit outs of narrowboats go, uh, she asks how do people get their veggie boxes delivered if they move their boat? Um, really simply um, when you make an order with uh, the onion barge you tell them where you are or where you plan to be for the time that they're delivering. Usually that's only a few days in advance so that's fine and then um, you would send them an update if you do move and you always give them the description of your boat, the name of your boat and that's how they find you. Clive Banwell wanted to know the prices of the different sizes of boxes. So the small box is £10 if it's just vegetables or if it's fruit and veg or just fruit then it is 15 and the larger one is £20 I think if it is uh, just vegetables and if it's both it's 24. That Duke 42 asks if people skate on the canal when it's frozen. Um, not to my knowledge although I don't think it's ever been frozen enough that you could skate on it. Um, I'm sure people do when it is very very frozen but at the moment uh, I've only ever seen winters where it's only just frozen enough for a coot to skate along on it. We Pony Bjorn uh, commented on my video about when things go horribly horribly wrong uh, she asked why did I think that the shower was not working um, basically our shower has a circular knob and we'd only turned it half the way round not the entire way round which made a huge difference once we realised that's what we needed to do so thanks we pony Bjorn for that question and of course last but not least my very last video of reflections Everybody wanted to know why I had such dirty hands. Um, so as a boater, I generally have dirty hands. But that particular day, I just finished making a fire. And so I had coal dust all over my hands and I didn't realise until I'd already edited the video. Sorry, not sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any other questions down in the comments below. And if you'd like to join us again on this narrow boat adventure, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. I've just started a Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting this channel, you can pop over and donate there. And thank you for supporting it by watching it with your eyes and subscribing, hopefully. Thank you very much. Bye!